Hi everyone, this is Control Arduino with Playmaker Part 2. This time our LEDs are going to be set into PWM mode, the pins that is, will be driven uh, with, it stands for pulse width modulation, and it's a way of creating a variable voltage output on Arduino. And only a certain number of pins on the Arduino Uno supports it. So we have our LEDs on those pins, we're going to use the PWM mode and in the uh, Playmaker Finite State Machine we're going to have the LEDs get brighter or turn off um, incrementally because it's a sort of an analog output we can we can vary the brightness so we can have sort of half brightness or semi brightness and then full brightness just as an example of what this looks like compared to just digital out where it's just on off so part one was just on off digital out and this part two is about more of an analog out where you vary the voltage and therefore get varying effects okay let's get into it so we have the magnifier on the left just so you can see what menus I'm using so I'm going to go to Creation, Playmaker Arduino to set up a board. Let's detect the board. Um, now we're just going to use, get rid of pin three, uh, sorry, pin two. So we're going to use pins three, um, five, and six, and we'll get rid of the others. Five, six, now get rid of seven, eight, and so forth. Keeping just three, five, six. And this time going to PWM. So instead of having uh, just on and off, we'll have half on and full on, so we can change the brightness. Uh, so let's say here this is LED 3, LED 5, and LED 6. So with PWM modes for all three LEDs. Uh, now we're going to set up a finite state machine here but we'll come back to that now let's make um, make a UI a user interface so UI uh, panel let's just zoom into the panel let's do that okay so game object now we'll have a get a couple of this time we'll have three buttons so similar to part one where we had two buttons, one to turn the LEDs off um, and um, another one to cycle through to the next LED so that they go three, five, six, three, five, six like this. Uh, what we'll do is we'll make it that it goes to um, you know, half and then full so every time you click next, basically the cycle next, it'll be half first and then fall, then half, then fall. Um, really just showing that difference with the analog out. Okay, so let's set let's uh, set up this button. So this is all off, BTN, all off, all LEDs off. Okay, we're going to have it stretch across the top. Uh, okay, so zero there, zero there, zero there, and the height of 100. Up oh, and change the pivot to 1. So in the y direction, the y axis, so that means that the top of the button will be at the top of the panel or the screen. I need to change the text to make it bigger. That's pretty good. Uh, let's make the color kind of red because it's all all uh, LEDs off. So that, that feels kind of urgent. Stop now, basically. <clears throat> now we'll make another button. So from the canvas, actually, no, that's fine. Game object. UI button again. Let's make it a height of a hundred. 
let's make it 10% from yo 10% which is 0 0.1 to 0 0.9 so that's 10% from either side with a difference so zero from those different margins uh, we will change the text here which is cycle to next LED uh, let's make the text green on a grey background uh, here so this sort of matches the style we used last time I need to make the text bigger bigger nice okay cycle now this is cycle by half this time right so cycle by half brightness to next LED okay so that's what's different this time around now here we have uh, let's make this all off to start we add another state this will be uh, LED three half. LED yeah, LED three full. LED five half. I think you can see where this is going. LED 5 full two more to go come here LED 6 half and last state LED 6 full Okay, now Arduino, uh, there we are. So here we can we can also do this a few different ways. So we want uh, let's make this Well, let's start with this first of all. So we're going to brighten um, LED three in terms of brightness to zero point five, um, and for it to take about a second to get to that. Um, well, this would get to maximum brightness in one second, um, but anyway, that'll do. We'll just use one for the moment. Okay, so now what we can do with each of these, assuming that LED 6 was previously at full, so that this will cycle nicely, um, we can bring the darken action in as well. So we do two actions at the same time, so LED, ah, LED 6 uh, down to 0 at, say, 2, so twice as fast. Uh, it will bring LED 6 down to 0. So in the same time frame basically it'll finish bringing LED 3 up to a, a half brightness but bring LED 6 down to a full 0. Uh, 0 point being fully dark. Okay so that's basically how the actions will look. So for full actually this time we just need to bring brighten LED 3 up to full. LED, uh, keep doing that. LED 3 to full brightness again at a rate of one uh, let's now these um, when these transitions when they're complete for other these actions it'll it'll make it'll trigger the finished transition or the finished event so when this is f uh, bright half bright and this is completely dark that will cause this to happen, the finished event will fire automatically. 
Okay, so here we basically just do the same thing. Finished, drag that down here. So here we need to have, um, we're gonna make uh, LED five half bright. So do that, that's LED five, 0 0.5 brightness at a rate of one, bring LED three down to uh, completely dark, so zero at a rate of two. Um, and then same deal, finished. Bring that down to LED five. Yep, full state. So we then bring just the brightness. We go in here and we say we want LED five to be fully bright. At the end of that, make a transition to finished. Let that go to here. And again, we're going to make LED um, six half bright. So that's LED six, 0 0.5, rate of one. Darkness, this will be, come here. LED five being completely dark at a rate of two. And when finished, go down to LED six full. Yo, yo, stop. Uh, click on the state first. Now we drag in brightness and we want LED six to be fully bright at a rate of one. And when this is finished, loop up to LED three half. Okay, so that should give us a nice cycling through feel. Uh, we need an event to be triggered from the UI, so we need two of them. So we need the next, uh, let's call it, uh, I'm just going to, oh, come on, capitals, next, and um, let's call it stop. Stop meaning all off. Okay, so now in theory, I should be able to add a global transition. Okay. Right. That's not what I had in mind. Don't worry about that. Okay, let's just do it this way. What just happened? Oh man. Finished. Goes down. Okay, that's what I rather have. So here, add transition stop. Takes us here. Okay, that looks better. Uh, stop. Take us there. Now let's just space this out a bit more. Stop. Takes us back up to there. Stop. Takes us back up to here. And transition. Stop. Takes us back to there. And I made that finish, didn't I? That's not really what we want. Okay, so this will be next. Going to here. Um, I really wanted next to be doing this. So rethink that, just change that to next. So I'm gonna replace all the finished if I leave finished there, then this will actually cycle through all by itself, which is not really what I had in mind. Uh, we could do that, that's really something else. So let's just do this, make it next, next, next. Okay, my bad. Okay, so now next is gonna be triggered by the cycle button and stop is basically the all LEDs off. Okay. So from here, we are going to add a click handler. We are going to drag the 
Arduino object in here, find the uh, Playmaker FSM, send event of stop, and then for the, which I didn't rename, but that's uh, BTN, come on, uh, I'm going to call it next. We're going to hit the click handler and drag the Arduino for Playmaker object in here. Find Playmaker FSM and look for send event. And we're going to call this next. Okay, so now I'm just going to save the scene. So now these buttons should drive this behavior and from here. Uh, now if we have to make these all dark, then we're going to need to drag in an action for each one. So LED3, make it fully dark at a rate of let's say 5, so really really quickly it just makes it dark. And we keep doing this. So LED, uh, come on, LED uh, 5 is the next one. Make it from rate of 5. Can I copy? Oh, I can. Nice. 6. Uh, actually, it was just up to 6, wasn't it? So that's all I need. Get rid of this last one. Uh, remove action. Okay. So that'll make lead 3 fully dark, lead 5 fully dark, and lead 6 fully dark when we enter into here. Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, so now you can see in the camera in the bottom right all the LEDs are off. Let's hit play. See if this works. Hang on, let's just make sure I'm dealing with the right thing. Okay, click on the Arduino for Playmaker. Here we go, play. Okay, good. We can see the state machine here now. If I click next, Okay, good. Okay, the half brightness and full brightness is not very different. So we might try a different number instead of 0.5 and 1. Okay, but the right sort of behavior is happening. And if we do the all off, yep, that works too. Okay, so let's stop this. And maybe instead of... Um, 0.5. Let's maybe try 0.3. Let's see what that looks like. That four is fine. So uh, 0.3, and then for the next half, 0.3. Right. Let's see what that looks like. Hit play. So this is LED 3, so if I hit the next, man, that's still pretty bright. And then if I hit next again, it should be fully bright. Yeah, you can see it just gets a bit brighter, but uh, <laughs> point 0.3 is quite bright already. Okay, so now we're into LED 5, and this is ha uh, point 0.3 brightness. Now that's fully bright. The green LEDs are never very bright. Uh, the next one is a blue, so that's point 0.3. And that's the one. So again, it's not a great deal of difference between the two. Um, okay, so there, half, full, half, full. Right, so that's working. And you can see some variation um, between the brightness. Um, it's not perfect because LEDs are pretty intense when they're on anyway. Um, I guess we could try point 0.1 or something just to really see what happens. So instead of point 0.3, let's just try point 0.1. We'll just do it for two of them just to see if there's much difference. That's LED 5 full. Hang on. LED. No, that's what I want. Uh, up here. Okay, let's just see how that goes. Okay. Wow, that's point 0.1. That's still very bright. <laughs> okay, but you can definitely see it 
picks up quite a bit now when you go from 0.1 to, to 1. So that's 0.1 on LED 5 to 1 on LED 5. Right, so that's better. That sh gives you a better sense of uh, varying brightness. And we can do all off. Okay, but anyway, so there's PWM mode LED control. Uh, and obviously they don't all have to be PWM. You can mix and match. So I could make this um, digital output instead, in which case it's just zero to fully, like fully dark to fully bright and nothing in between. If we use digital output, uh, if we do that, then we should use different um, yeah, see here now it's saying this is the wrong mode, so we would have to use a different action here. Um, so um, you would have to use the um, the digital LED action to turn on and off um, an LED that's that's set to digital out, but basically it can be done. Okay. Well, anyway, there we are. That's all I wanted to show right now. We've got the the ability to move, cycle through these three LEDs, uh, both at a partial brightness and fully bright, uh, and we can turn them all off. I hope that was interesting. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the like button. Otherwise, uh, give me some feedback in the comments. Thank you.